Hi guys, hope you're doing great. We are right here at Nadia Mukami album launch and we have our beautiful queen, our beautiful girl, my sister. <laughs> Vesha. So taka tupige sorry na eh. Unajua Vesha si rahisi atokea mahali. Ukiona ametokea hapa, hapa ni kumoto. Hi Vesha. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Good to see you guys. Good to see you looking good. Thank you. Thank you for having me also. You're welcome. Tuleze kidogo why you here. You know you here because of the album, but you must have some reasons why you're here. Mm. Yeah. I'm here because I genuinely just love Nadia. She's a phenomenal woman. She's a powerhouse. Mm. And I love, 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 love her music. Mm. That's why I'm here today to support her. I'm waiting to see what she has in store for us. So I'm very excited as someone who listens and literally just adores Nadia. Uh -huh. yeah. Maybe with that said, uh, what's your favorite Nadia song? Uh, Maombi. Kazi ya mungu haina makosa. That one. Uh -huh. Sio. Yeah, that's the song I love. Yeah. So we're right here for the listening party, the Queen of the East, the album Queen of the East. I don't know whether you have anything, expecting anything tonight. Fire. Fire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm expecting fire. I know mm -hmm. Nadia is very creative, uh -huh. so I'm just waiting to see what she has cooked, uh -huh. but I'm definitely expecting some bombshell kind of music. Uh -huh. Yeah. I'm not sure whether you have checked the track list. I don't know whether there is any song you are so much expecting to listen to. Yo! <laughs> I haven't checked the track list. Uh -huh. I want to be surprised. Oh, okay. So I'm just crossing my fingers yeah. and waiting to hear what will, you know, what will tickle my fancy. Uh -huh. Yeah, I know uh, you both that uh, she has said that uh, for you to be here in Amanisha Dikumoto, maybe I know you have uh, had some experience with Nida one, two, three. Maybe what, uh, what, uh, what can you say about Nadia in person and what's that one thing you love about her generally? Nadia is just a good soul, you know, a happy go lucky woman who is very humble. And what you see is what you get, there's no two faced with Nadia, and she's just a very jovial person to be around and that's why honestly my heart always goes out to her when she called and said Besha I have an album launch I said say no more I'll be there yeah and most of the time I listen to Vesha singing you have a very nice voice oh, maybe at some point do you uh, oh, maybe can you sing the studio at least to release a song I sing in church <laughs> and in my bathroom uh -huh. I haven't thought of pursuing a career in that space because currently my love and passion is business. Mm -hmm. But you know, maybe, maybe in the future, mm -hmm. hopefully, a song with Akode and Nadia. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Of course, uh, the other day in Mama Ida's birthday, we saw some moves you together with Joe and Ru. Maybe today we have to expect moves, Mama. Oh yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. If the music is good, we're definitely okay. vibing. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you see with Ru, uh, most of the place. Hello, me Mwatawapi. Um, she's supposed to actually be my date tonight, but unfortunately she just travelled abruptly. But when she's back, of course, we'll definitely pay Nadia a visit, just the two of us. Yeah. And the video of you and Joho dancing went viral. And hey, what will you call it? Yo, maybe kuna comments, uliona, zikakufraisha, zingine zikakubo. How did you take it after now the video went viral? I mean, we were in a social event mm -hmm. and Joho is a family friend. So we were just having fun. Uh -huh. the, for the comments, I don't care much for them. I don't even think I took time to read them. Uh -huh. I was just like, yeah, we had a good time with Doho, and that's just it. Uh -huh. Yeah. And of course, uh, most of the time when we see such videos going viral, we'll have uh, people who are, of course, negative. Uh, I would want to know, one, how do you handle such? And number two, maybe uh, do you have a time in your life when maybe um, a video went viral, the comments were not so much uh, good to you? How did it uh, go down with it? I mean, being a public figure, being a celebrity, there are days that your videos go viral and there are good comments. Yeah. And then there are days that you just, just generally get online bullied. Mm -hmm. I keep saying you're not everyone's cup of tea. And anyone who is very quick to go and type online, that's a bully. And that one is someone who is very, it's someone if you have met them in person, they can't say those things that they say it online. So they're just cowards. Mm -hmm. And they're frustrated with their lives. And you can't, you can't blame them. Mm -hmm. You just pray for them. Uh -huh. Yeah. At any point has it maybe cost you some mental breakdown before? Never. Wow. Because I don't allow people in my space. Uh -huh. I mean, if I was to cry at every person who says, mm -hmm. you're ugly, I don't like your nose, 
Shauriake, it's unfortunate. Amos is cup of tea or her cup of tea. And if they don't want to watch, why can't they just unsubscribe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can't allow people to be in your space and control what makes you happy and what makes you sad. Sure. You can't give them that power. Now, of course, you've talked about being a public figure. Maybe what do you think, what's that, what's that uh, one misconception people think about you? That I'm very harsh. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. I have met so many of my fans and all the time they keep saying, Oh, Vesha, you know, before I come to you, I have to be proper. I have to put my thoughts together. I'm, I'm the loveliest person. I'm not so harsh. Maybe my Maybe. face states we're standing on business, but I'm very easygoing. I think they meet you because I've worked with Vesha, and I know maybe they meet her when she's busy. You know when she's busy, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and mambo atakangi story mingi. Yeah. That is now maybe apondo wana misjudge. Yeah. 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 And my, my question is, you're such a young girl who is doing so well, you have like a lot, you achieve a lot sana, and you're so a role model to so many people outside there. Thank you. Yes. So maybe, Twileze Vesha, how has it been, you being where you are, kutoka ugrom, baka ufiki haba? Mekuwaje mbako kukapata what you have right now you know that quote that they say believing in yourself is a full-time job yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's just it mm -hmm. I am I'm my own cheerleader mm -hmm. I look into the mirror and I am my own um, competition mm -hmm. and just also having a strong mother um, who has instilled a lot of discipline in us mm -hmm. I mean if you're a Kodes daughter you have room to fail surely you, you know everything has been set there are principles that have been laid so you failing is cause on your own wanting yeah. but the biggest thing for me is that i am my own cheerleader if i want something my mom will tell you this i'm very stubborn and very persistent so if i want something i go after it relentlessly i don't care what anyone says because sometimes you will get a lot of no's yo <laughs> people will think you're crazy but just having that self-belief and knowing this is what I want and being very clear mm -hmm. and intentional about it, that's what has brought me this far. Mm -hmm. And to add on that, to add on this, uh, most of the time you do video with mom or with Ako, they end up, you are like, mom, go, end up nyumbani, talk up nyumba yangu. And people feel like maybe you're being harsh on your mom. They don't know that you guys are mm -hmm. yeah. How, how maybe you can tell us, yeah. like, how is your relationship with your mother? My mom is my best friend, so I confide in her in everything. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of banter that we have, and that's why I keep saying it's good to have a mom that you can actually just talk to openly mm -hmm. and even play games with. I know um, when I told her to get out of my house, the whole internet came. Yeah. There was fire yeah. <laughs> and my comment section. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't disrespectful because we are girls like that. Yeah. You know, she's my girlfriend. Uh -huh. Yeah. No. Because uh, at times you've seen uh, people say probably it's content creation. This means it wasn't just like content, anything scripted. It wasn't scripted really. But as natural as you see us. I mean, if you're in my house and you don't abide with my rules, you have to go. No matter who you are. No matter who you are. <laughs> because if I'm in your house uh -huh. and I don't respect your rules, yeah. you will send me away. Yeah. Right? Uh -huh. Yeah. So that applies to your mom as well. It applies to everybody. <laughs> let, me, let me ask you because uh, related to that, related to that, okay. uh, most of the time, because uh, we also in your comment section, if uh, someone else told their mom the same, an African mom to be specific, they would probably receive something uh, negative from their mom. Let me ask you, how does your mom? How did your mom receive uh, that? Whatever you told her during that video. I mean, because times have changed, yeah. uh, parenting styles have also changed. Yeah. My mom is a very liberal person, yeah. and I thank God because also she's very exposed. Mm -hmm. I mean, you guys know very well, like, um, in the Western world, you can't beat up a child for speaking their mind. Yeah. And, and speaking your mind doesn't mean you're being disrespectful. Yeah. Question is, how are you framing what you're saying to your parents? Don't, don't pull certain things <laughs> if they're not there. <laughs> but I keep saying parenting styles are different, so it just depends on the relationship that you have with your parent. Yeah. There's someone who will probably tell their mom, hey mom, get out of my space, and the mom will be like, oh, sorry. Yeah. Someone else will say that and the mom will slap them. Sure. Someone else like me will say, pack your bags and go, mm -hmm. and my mom would laugh at it. So parenting styles are different, it just depends on, it narrows back to how do you relate to your parent at the end of the day. Wow. Yeah. Uh, maybe most of the people think that the way they see your mom on a like being a father's daughter is too hard because a father will call a spade a spade. She won't hide anything and she'll say it how it is. Maybe you can tell us how has it been the journey of your mom? Being a father's daughter is awesome. <laughs> and I would wish everyone uh -huh. to once in a lifetime experience what it means to be a father's daughter because she's liberal but she's very strict. 
I mean, um, it's very evident. You can see all of us, we finished school, university. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now she's on everybody's neck. Um, she's always leveling up. She's currently doing her master's. Mm -hmm. That means, come on, if you have a degree, I'm going to go so you better, you know, you better keep up. So it's just awesome and it's constantly challenging in a better way. Like she, she makes you ask yourself, am I doing anything good for myself? Mom has always said that no man has plans for you. You only have plans for yourself. So with that being said, even her, she doesn't have plans for me. So I have to have make plans for myself and her setting the path. I just have to follow suit. Yeah. And when you post videos, I go through your comment section. I see, I like men are like, hey, Miss Wezi Wezana na ude mo wako de wako sana. So Veshak, let me ask you this question: Who is your ideal man? Yo. <laughs> yeah, and if you're dating, you're dating. what? Nilaula comments up. Guys, mimi ni namtaka lakini ni taweza na kweli. True, you call mo baya na mimi. Mo baya na mimi. Who is your ideal man? Oh, my ideal man. Yes. I haven't met him yet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's just say I haven't met him yet. Uh -huh. so that answers your question. Am I single? Yeah, yes, yeah. I'm very single. Uh -huh. um, the man, not yet. Now, even even though you haven't met him, you probably have a picture of probably qualities mm -hmm. and things like that. Qualities. Mm -hmm. Hey, you what? <laughs> when is there someone who sent you? <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's a concern among your fans. It's a concern. Yeah. Yo! <laughs> I haven't really thought about what sure. an ideal man would um, look like, but it has to be someone who challenges me. Uh -huh. um, let's say both mentally, mm -hmm. in terms of how they reason and how they think, um, their level of ambition. Because mm -hmm. I'm a strong, independent woman, so that means the man must not be threatened yeah. by the fact that I am the way I am. Mm -hmm. And very, very hardworking. Mm -hmm. And with a few dollars, <laughs> with a few dollars uh -huh. in the account. You've mentioned that yeah. you're a strong, independent woman. Yeah. To some extent, do you feel like uh, probably that pushes away? Maybe a few men. Have you felt yeah, that? Before? If you're being pushed away, then you're not meant for me, right? Because uh -huh. I cannot demean myself in order to please you yeah. or to allow you to fit into um, to allow myself to fit into your space as a man. Sure. So if you're feeling threatened, sorry. Wrong, wrong ship. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. As we wind up, uh, just a message to your mom. Yeah. Was and uh, Nadia. Nadia Mukami. Nadia girl, I love you. I can't wait to see what you have to for us tonight. And I am your number one fan, and you know this. Mwah, all the best. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Mom. mom. Mom, send me money. <laughs> no, my mom. Um, I definitely love her. I'm looking forward for a day that we actually get to have a collab between her and Nadia because they are two powerful women. Yeah. So, mom, wherever you are, if you're watching this, let's make this partnership work very, very fast. Uh -huh. Yeah. Thank you thank so you. much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, ladies, for having me. You're welcome. Although, my name is Spot.